Before my model came into the salon, I had my whole set planned out based on the before photos we had of her from her last visit. It wasn't until I started working that I realized I quickly needed to reroute all of my plans. My client got her lashes done by another artist that unfortunately caused some lash damage. So today I'm going to share with you my experience and how I worked through the service. It wasn't until after I'd cleansed the lashes and applied the eye pads that I noticed my client didn't have very many natural lashes. Although we had both already created a plan for the set, I needed to be transparent with her and explain that her lashes did not look the same as they did the last time she saw us. She was super understanding and was totally on board with doing a completely different style than what we had already had planned. It's definitely best to keep it honest with your client, educate them the best way you can, and usually they are super understanding. But this doesn't always mean that you have to lash your client either. If you're noticing that your client has very brittle lashes, both eyes have large gaps and are completely uneven, then just say, you know what, I'm super sorry, I would love to send you home with a beautiful set of lashes, but after going through and assessing your natural lash health, I would not feel right about lashing you today because the lashes will not last long and we will likely cause more damage. Instead, I recommend sending you home with a lash serum so your lashes can get nice and healthy again. And with consistent use, we can reassess in four to six weeks. And usually the client will be on board and will really appreciate your professional opinion. And trust me, being open and honest like this will go a long way in your business. Thankfully, that's not the case for my client today. She did still have lashes that were healthy enough to hold extensions with the use of lightweight dimensions and diameters. Once I started working, I did notice that there were a few gaps in different areas of both the eyes, and she had more natural lashes on the left eye than the right eye. So in cases like this, I would definitely recommend working from eye to eye for consistency and symmetry. That's one thing I wish I did today, but did not for the sake of filming other videos, but I would highly, highly recommend it because say there's a gap on the inner corner on the right eye, but no gap on the left eye. You want to lower your dimensions on the left eye and maybe even leave out a couple natural lashes as well, just to create balance between both the eyes. I for sure should have done this today. I think my set would have turned out a lot more symmetrical, but hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. To add as much fullness as I could to the set, I used a mix of wide, narrow, and closed fans. I personally do this for most clients who don't have many natural lashes to work with because I find that the mix of all three adds texture, density, and fullness. Creating wide fans helps with covering more surface area, which is exactly what you want to use for those gaps. And the use of narrow stem fans adds some density to the set. These fans have a longer base, which adds darkness. So I used most of these fans along the bottom layer to add darkness along the lash line. I also threw in a couple lightweight wet lashes along the top layer just to add some extra texture. Here is a very noticeable gap on the inner corner. She has a couple finer lashes between the gap, but I'm not going to lash those just because I don't want to risk causing further damage to those lashes. I'm using 0.05 diameter to create a 5D lash and I'm going to place it on the left side and angle it inwards towards that gap. These lashes aren't in the telogen phase yet, so I didn't want to go overboard with my dimensions. I wanted to keep it lightweight, so that is what I did to avoid causing damage to those ones. If you are a pre-made fan artist, this is a great example of why having different trays in your lash cart comes in handy. You can even use a mix of pre-made fans and handmade fans. Volume is volume, so the choice is up to you and how you want to create your masterpiece, as long as you are always keeping the natural lash health in mind. If you have ever had to cover a gap along the lash line or you have any lash damage stories, let us know in the comments below. Here is how the set turned out. As I mentioned earlier, I do wish that I went back and forth between both eyes. I feel like they would have looked a lot more balanced that way, but I'm super happy I was still able to give her a set of lashes and I can't wait to have her back next time to give her an even better set. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell so you never miss out on new lash content. We'll see you next time.